Tell me who you are and what do you do? All right, so my name is Samit Videra. I do epilepsy neurosurgery. I'm the director of epilepsy surgery at uh, University of California in Irvine. I've been there for just over two years. Uh, I do a lot of epilepsy surgery. I do general neurosurgery. I do uh, spine and brain tumors as well. Uh, I do have a passion for epilepsy surgery. I, I feel very strongly about raising awareness that it is a good option for people and that it, it, it works very well and it's very safe. Um, okay, so tell me more about uh, surgery because I've been I've been told that I've, I'm get being have gone through a surgery program myself. Okay, um, but at the end of it, I've been told I'm not a surgery candidate. Okay, um, and I haven't been given any options apart from maybe DNS is is the only other thing. Okay, um, but. So what I'm, I'm sort of kind of interested in it is what would have happened if I went ahead with surgery. So what, what's well, what's, so the way I kind what's, of what's the process? So I've so I've been already been through uh, MRI uh, and video EEG. Um, and did you have any um, a lesion on the MRI? Did you have anything? Uh, that they yes. Found? Okay. So they, they found things on MRI, but the, but on video EEG, no seizures showed up. How long did they have the video EEG for? For two weeks. Two weeks. So, uh, so, the, so the question is, is, is what happens next? Is, is going through the surgery? Well, process. I would, I would uh, recommend you have the process. You go through the process again, especially if you have a lesion on your MRI and you, um, they weren't able to capture a seizure. Um, I would recommend going through the process and doing video EEG again. In terms of surgeries, there's two broad categories of surgery. We have um, diagnostic procedures where we implant electrodes onto the brain and into the brain, uh, looking for the specific location where the seizures come from. And then we have other therapeutic type surgery where uh, we actually will do a resection, take out a part of the brain, we'll do a stimulator implantation, we can do a laser ablation. There's several options and, and maybe some of those things may not have been available when you were going through the process originally. Um, but, you know, I think that, you know, I, the important thing is that it, it, in patients who have failed, you know, two medications, um, the next, you know, step that they should try and go through is to go to a, a level four epilepsy center where they could be evaluated for possibly, you know, surgery. Yeah. Uh, it's unfortunate there's a lot of patients who don't know that surgeries are available, surgery is safe, it's effective, um, so I think that's really important. But, okay, um, question is how safe is safe? Uh, I quote, you know, less than 1%. Uh, yeah, in, in terms of major complications, I say less than a fraction of a percent of, you know, stroke, coma, paralysis, death, those things are very, very, very uncommon. Major things like bleeding and infection, probably one to two percent. Uh, so, you know, I mean, very safe. Uh, but, if you look but at the... Does it, but does it depend where a, a lesion takes place? Not necessarily, no. So, so if... Surgery if, is... Cert so, so if a lesion is within a uh, visual field, that's on... Well, at the back of the brain, um, at, for the optical nerve and, and area, um, what happens uh, if brain surgery is done there, does vision get taken away or, or well there's a, or, there's a lot of factors does, that go does into it matter, that or does it depend on where the lesion is depending so affecting motor skills or language and there's a lot of factors that go into it. Uh, depends when the seizure started. Depends if your brain has had plasticity. Maybe functional parts of the brain may have moved depending on where the seizure started. Um, there's a lot of parts of the brain that are effectively quiet. So we could do surgery and take those out and you may not have a problem. Sometimes uh, people have a problem from the seizures so that if we did surgery, they're you know they're no different. So you know if it's in your motor area, you may have some weakness. If it's in your vision area, maybe you already have some vision problems. So um, there's a lot of factors. Really, the important thing is that if you go to a level four epilepsy center where they can evaluate you and treat you and give you all the different options, those patients, you know, the, um, we can uh, tailor a, a surgery or a, a approach yeah. to you rather than going through. Um, and, and, and there's no cookie cutter answer for these questions. Okay. 
So uh, tell me about why it's really important to bring epilepsy out from the shadows. So when we're talking about the stigma, I think, I, I think it's you know I think that it's very unfortunate that there are lots of patients who would benefit from surgery who could actually uh, be cured from epilepsy uh, and who either uh, have you know don't know about surgery or they have these you know wrong preconceived notions about the safety of surgery I have patients come in and tell me that uh, you know I'm gonna be a zombie if I have surgery I'm gonna go blind or maybe I'll become uh, paralyzed and, and you know I have a list of patients who have done very well and I could you know I would tell you that uh, if it was my family I would recommend surgery I would not you know I would not hesitate at all uh, if, if I you know it, it, so I think it's a really good surgery the the benefits far outweigh any risk so so that's that's a that's that's a, that's a really really good positive thing to to, to, to hear um, and so that's so lastly is what what do you think about uh, events like this for, I, for people to come to epilepsy awareness day um, it's a, a it's a really fantastic day for um, to, to learn, uh, but also to hear from the, to ask questions. Yeah, you said it best. Uh, you said it best. What do you, what do you think? Um, I agree with you. Is this your your first time? No, I did this last year. You did it last year? Yeah. Um, what do you get out from the day yourself? I, you know, I, I, I enjoy meeting people. I enjoy, uh, you know, um, possibly giving information and teaching people and maybe I could uh, you know increase awareness and that's really my biggest the reason I enjoy coming to things like this that's really great okay thank you for talking to me sure very nice to meet you thank you that's